Buongiorno YouTube, it's Trevor, something or nothing. Out today walking on Dartmoor, come to the Prince Town area today, doing a walk that I've downloaded on View Ranger. A walk that a lady called M Woolsey had shared. I thought I'd follow that for a change, do someone else's walk. So it's going to take us in around King's Tour, but it's going to take us over the opposite side of the road. I've not done any of that side before, so it's some new, some old, but just getting out for a nice nine mile circular walk. Would you care to join me? I'd love it if you did. Later on, got a bit of a Dartmoor legend relevant to this area. It's a famous one actually. It's probably the first Dartmoor legend I ever heard. As I said, we're going to walk around King's Tor and Inga Tor. Both of those we visited. Um, and then it's over this side Black Tor and Park Tor, which I think is that door there we can see. Okay, I just had a little alert come up and uh, with a piece of information with the walk. So that's something clever. I didn't know you could do. I need to learn View Ranger for when you follow my route. It's just literally start finish, isn't it? It says look out for the pair of PC WW markers along this section of the route. They were placed by the Plymouth Corporation Waterworks in relation to the construction of Burrator Reservoir. They're quite interesting. We'll keep an eye out for them then. I think I see one now. Really picturesque along here, these views. It's sort of a bit bleak back there, a bit flat and a bit barren, and then you come around the corner and it, the ground dips away and the road winds round. You've got that little railway bridge over there. It just looks like a little model. Glorious. Right, we're coming around now to Swell Tour is over there, but we're going to be going up beside Swell Tour, making our way around King's Tour. Now ahead of us, is the Merivale area coming in. So we've got Middle Staple, Great Staple, Roos Tour. We've got the flag up on Roos Tour today, so they must be firing over there. And then this big one up here is Great Miss, with Little Miss halfway down. And we're coming in beside Fucking Tour over here. Oh, it is stunning here. These views, especially with this patchy cloud keeps sort of lighting up the area and just seeing the sun creeping across the landscape glorious it's the best day in two weeks so we're doing all right this is king's tour behind me Vixen Tour over there. We done that walk the other week. Took him Vixen Tour and then Pew Tour up over there. Bear in mind if you walk from Prince Town. Don't expect to be out here on your own. Plenty of walkers sort of starting their journeys from Prince Town. Uh, you can't blame them. It's, it's well tracked. There's a lot of tracks around so you can follow. Topped up with stunning views. I mean, look at this out here. Amazing. We're coming up under Swell Tour now. And you can start to see sort of ruins of buildings here. And there's a pound or I don't know if it's a settlement or like a field. You can definitely see the entrance way of the gate. Another bit of information popped up on ViewRanger. 
Pause here to view the leftovers from when Swell Tor was quarried. Swell Tor quarry provided the granite to build London Bridge. Explore the tour to find the remains of quarry buildings and railway sleepers. There's the entrance to the quarry up there. But we've seen that before, so we'll just get back on track. Now we're going to make our way across there. I think that's Ingra Tor. We're going to follow this path and it snakes all the way around there. We go under that railway bridge that we saw earlier. We walk in around that and then it's back across some unknown territory and over there somewhere I'll tell you the Dartmoor legend stay tuned for that if you're interested walls are taller than they look. I can barely peep over. Summon an upgrade! Like that. We get back on. Bit of fun wasn't it? Going over. But you thought it was going to go under. I went over it. now up on our left me and Nathan we went up there Ingrid tour we've done Ingrid tour and Leiden tour and it absolutely chucked down with rain you might remember clambering up Ingrid tour and uh, just not a very appealing tour to me this one whether it's because it's a grey day and the last time we came here it was a very similar sort of day Got nothing against it, just uh, doesn't do it for me. It's almost like a, a bad vibe with this tour. Another tour that I felt the same was a uh, wild tour. A strange, ominous feeling up there. The same with this tour. Follow that track and then you can see the bridleway goes up that way. We'll be following that bridleway, I think. Okay, we have approached the road now, we've got crossover. See this tour over here behind the trees? That's Sheep's Tour, that's a popular tour. I've camped up there on Christmas. So that's Sharpit Tour. That's Lever Tour. It's funny, I, when we was up there, it felt like we was in the middle of nowhere. Um, up on Sharpit Tour. But look how close it is to the road, never even realised. Okay, so it looks like we're going to follow this track alongside the trees here and I think we're going to go up this valley to work our way back to Prince Town. By the looks of it now, we follow the Leet. Oh, it's a beautiful area. 
Lovely. I'm gonna have a spot of lunch here. And what I'm also gonna do is tell you all a story. It's time for another Dartmoor legend from my book of ghosts on Dartmoor. In case you fancy it. Of the many stories that abound on Dartmoor, this is the one which most people have heard of. Told you it's a classic. Possibly because the road, the B3212, between Post Bridge and Two Bridges, is very well travelled. As you can hear, it hasn't bloody stopped. Anyone who already knows the tale will make quite sure that their fellow travellers also learn their story. Shortly after 1910, a series of strange incidents occurred along this route. Most of them happened near a farm called Archerton, near Postbridge. Cyclists felt their handlebars wrenched out with their hands, forcing them off the road. Pony traps were put out of control and ended up in the ditch. Later, cars and motor coaches suffered similar fates, sometimes with fatal results. Dr Helby, a local man from Princetown, was riding his motorbike and sidecar when it inexplicably veered out of control. Two children, passengers in the sidecar, were thrown out and survived, but the doctor was killed. Shortly afterwards, an army officer riding his motorcycle along this stretch was badly injured, but survived to reveal that a large pair of muscular, hairy hands closed over his own and forced him off the road. This revelation led to sensational front page headlines. The Daily Mail sent reporters to investigate the story with their reports resulting in full-scale inquiry by various authorities into the state of the road. It was always possible that an adverse camber could have caused problems, so repairs were carried out to the road surface. Between 1910 and 1930 there were a number of serious incidents, but since those times the strange occurrences which have undoubtedly happened along that road have not been as dramatic. There was at least one fatal accident involving an overturned car, but as the young occupant was found dead at the scene we will never know whether the hairy hands played a murderous role or whether it was simply an accident. Nevertheless, many people will feel a sense of unease, particularly between the Cherry Brook Bridge and Post Bridge, and keep a wary eye out for any hairy intruders. It's going to rain. So there we go. The hairy hands. The infamous hairy hands. True or false? You decide. Anyway, it's raining. I won't stop for my dinner now. I'm just going to crack on. Typical. Ugh. Bibbidi bop bop. Following upside. The River Meavy now, and over here, look, there's a pretty waterfall. More impressive than the Broad Falls. There seems to be some ruin down there as well, of some old property. Do you see like a little doorway in there? With the lintel over the top? Pretty. Now we leave the river for a minute, heading up to Black Tort. We cut up, then we get back on track in a minute. But uh, for now, let's go. Black Tort.
over to Heart Tour. Over there. Now, over here, it's a stone roller. Jenny Zine. Oh, it's quite a long one, still going, right up here, looks like there's like a bit of a circular area on the end of it, up there. This must be the burial can, I think that's what that is, and then all the way down there look. That's history that is. So last climb of the day up to Heart Tour and I must admit I am absolutely knackered today. This last bit's been a bit of a slog. Feel out of practice. The weather doesn't help does it? But here we are, Heart Tour up ahead of us and then over there by those trees it's where I parked. That wasn't even a big hill <laughs> and I struggled up there. But well, there we are, Heart Tour. Anyway, I've been Trev, this has been Dartmoor. I'll see you all again soon. Thanks for watching. Chase. Thank you.